Hey yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's King Bro coming back at you again with another banger, you feel me? Alright, so today we have the long-awaited two-year, which is more like two and a half years at this point, another two-year hair journey video. You feel me? It is time for me to take y'all from day uno to day 679, blah, 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 whatever day it is, you feel me? But I got pictures and videos, I got some stories to tell y'all, some situations to explain to y'all, and you know what I'm saying? We gonna have a good time, so just be with me, you guys. This is almost like my thank you for 100k video, because my two-year hair journey video, all that, you know what I'm saying? Just prepare to buckle up. It's gonna be a nice little piece of content, you feel me? So make sure y'all watch all the way through. And I got a surprise for y'all. The, the secret is, you guys, I'm doing another giveaway, man. So the winner of this giveaway, man, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much for watching my channel. But the winner of this giveaway will be winning one royal curling cream and that's not even on the market like that's not restocked you cannot get that out off the website you can't get that anywhere else except for here right now because the website has not restocked at all one royal hydration treatment one royal leave-in conditioner and then tried and true one royal growth serum and all you gotta do is do four different steps you know what i'm saying you do f these four different steps and you'll be eligible to win it and of course i'm gonna pick the winner from down in the comments below but you gotta watch this whole video to get all four steps you feel me you gotta watch this video to get all four four steps all right so the first step is to comment the word two year head journey right here on this video comment it right now and then you gotta watch the video to get the next one all right so let's get started all right so bet what i'm finna do is i'm finna go through my phone right here and i favorited a lot of the pictures and a lot of the videos that i wanted to show to y'all you know what i'm saying so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna kind of tell y'all and walk y'all along with my journey all right let's get it damn i can't find my favorite oh there you go all right so check it all right so this is the first photo you know what i'm saying this is the first photo is gonna pop up right here or somewhere on the screen you feel me this is me at a photo shoot in like 2017 you feel me 2017 was before i had the slightest thought of growing my hair out all right 2017 i was a serious waver i don't know if you can see it maybe if you zoom in on the picture a little bit if you see the top of my head you can see like how the waves are starting to come in on top of my head but there was nothing about me that wanted to grow my hair out at this point in time well that's a lie there was nothing about me that was committed to growing my hair at the time man i didn't know nothing about hair except for washing it wave grease and brushing it and do rag that's it you know what i'm saying now i will say i didn't even raw dog my pillow at first because i was i was wearing do rag you know what i'm saying even with waves so that's just what it was but i had nothing no intentions of trying to grow my hair out you feel me so that was september 2017 we're gonna jump a full year a full year all right and we're gonna start on the very day i decided that i was gonna start growing my hair out you know what i'm saying the very day that i decided like it was time for me to get a haircut and i just said you know what i'm not getting a haircut you feel me? So I had waves up until June 15th, 2018, all right? June 15th, 2018 is the day I started, well, decided to grow my hair out, you know what I'm saying? And I started combing my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I could have very well brushed it and laid it down and still had waves, but this is the moment I decided. Look at me. This is very much the beginning of a very ugly stage about to happen right here. Like, you can just look at my head and just see, okay, this something's going on. It's it's not it's not going the right way. There's nothing good about to come out of what he about to do, you know what I'm saying? But um, I was with it, man. I was like, yo, I never grew my hair out past a couple of months. And I, I I was determined I was gonna take it the whole way this time. I was gonna go straight for the touchdown no matter what. You know what I'm saying? And what's interesting is this was actually my senior year of college. You know what I'm saying? My senior year of college. Well, think about college, a lot of people trying to go out with their last bang, trying to do X, Y, Z. You got graduation pictures. So you're trying to look as good as possible. Me, I was like, man, listen, you only young once. I'm never gonna be this young again in my life, man. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to grow my hair out. I don't care what people say. I don't care if I lose clout. I don't care if I'm gonna look uglier. I don't care if it don't look like I got no swag. I'm gonna grow it out and I'm gonna figure this thing out. You feel me? But that was like June 2018. All right, so here we go. This is like <laughs> the next weekend. So June 21st, 2018. I'm not sure what the hell I was trying to go for, what I was wearing. You know what I'm saying? The chain was fake, first of all. Let me just get that out. The chain was fake. All right, my funding was not proper back then. You know what I'm saying? This is before the YouTube channel, for Rich Royals, all this stuff, man. My my bread, my bank was not proper at all. You know what I'm saying? You can see my headline doing the Diddy Bop. It's cricket you can see it looks like a nike right there i i got a natural cricket hairline so shout out to everybody out here with a naturally cricket hairline you know what i'm saying comment cricket hairline right now if you got a naturally cricket hairline you feel me but you see me growing it out it's starting to get a little thick it's definitely still just out of wavelength so it doesn't really look like i'm growing it out at this point but man i, I wanted it bad i was committed you know what i'm saying as far as my outfit and oh my god don't look at my belt i just told you not to look at my belt and you're gonna look at my belt but man my from fashion sense the shirt i don't really know the open chest 
chest thing. I thought I looked swole. My goatee, I, man, I don't ask no, I don't know. I don't know, all right? I don't know. Don't ask me no more questions. Next picture. And here we go, September 3rd. So let me see, June, July, August, September. So this is really like three months. September 3rd, you know what I'm saying? You start getting a little bit of hang time, you can pull it out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, yo, <laughs> I'm like, it's time. You feel me? It just, I ain't really got no drop at this point. But you know how, it, it, especially if you're a newbie watching this, you within your first two, three months, you know exactly what I'm doing here, man. Every day I'm pulling my hair, trying to see if it curls, trying to see if it's growing, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Really just trying to see how fast I can get there and just, I don't know why in the beginning, you think that the more you think about your hair, the faster it's gonna grow. And that's not what happens at all. I don't know why we think like this as humans, as people. You think, hey, if I spend all my time thinking about growing my hair, then it's gonna grow. That's not how it works, bro. That's not how it works at all, but I was hungry for it, man. Boom, okay, so right here, this is a point where, you know what I'm saying, I got just a little bit of hair, you know what I'm saying? It no longer looks like I'm just going without a haircut. It looks like I'm intentionally growing my hair out and I was, you know, rubbing my hands through my hair, playing with it, but it still just looks like whatever, you know what I'm saying? I think I might've been sponging a little bit at this time, like just disgusting. So this is October, October 4th, 2018. This is literally disgusting. I, I cannot believe myself. I'm out here sponging. I was sponging. Like if you watched any of my prior videos, if you watched the no sponge video, if you're using a sponge right now, throw the sponge away. The sponge ain't what's gonna get you there, brother. That's not what's gonna get you there. But I was using a sponge and my shit was looking like this. Dry as hell, no conditioner, putting coconut oil on my head. It was just stupid, bro. I, I don't know. It was a fire picture, but yeah, man, it was it was bad. You know what I'm saying? Right here, this is the very next day. You know, absolutely nothing changed except for the fact that, um, actually, you know what? You know what? I remember what I did here. This is October 5th, the very next day, the day before my birthday. I actually tried eggs in my hair. So I basically done the deep conditioning method with eggs in my hair and used some curl cream. And you know what I'm saying? These were the results. And I really was flexing, taking pictures because I thought that, you know, I thought that it was going to, it was fire. You know what I'm saying? I thought my shit was really working. You know what I mean? I, I think this was, you know what I'm saying? I thought that was it. You know what? That's false. That that was a lie too. It wasn't eggs. It was the protein treatment. I put the protein treatment in my head thinking that it was going to get my head. Because this, matter of fact, this was the date of my very first YouTube video. Either my very first or my very second. Like, you can go look at it right now. Back like one of the first videos on my page, some of the protein treatment. This was those curls right there. And I thought that, you know, that those was what I was really looking for when really, no, bro, that I was so lost. I, I actually got a couple curls in, but no, bro, that was, no, that, that's, this is terrible. This was terrible, man. Because as you see, you know, when you do a proper curl day, your results should last at least a couple of days. You feel me? Even if you use bullshit products, they should at least last a couple of days. And you see what my hair was looking like the very next day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if we can zoom in on this October 7th. You know what I'm saying? My abs are there. Body look good. You know what I'm saying? What, what is, what is going on right here? I, 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 I don't understand i really don't understand at all it's just dry man it's just uh i thought it, i was just happy to have hair man and then the dreaded temp fade all right so here we go on to the next day october 13th this was like the first time i got my hair deep conditioned like ever i'm pretty sure i was using that shea moisture in that green can you know what i'm saying the first deep condition and then it was the date right before homecoming of the evil temp fade the temp fade that messed up my whole hair journey you know what i'm saying i'm still paying for it to this day because my braids should be a lot longer than they are but i got this temp fade and let me explain to you how i messed up it's not the side temp that i messed up it's the back temp you know what i'm saying and for anybody that wants cornrows in the future do not get the back temped up because the hair right here is really the hair that's going to determine your hang time you know what i'm saying so this hair right here is still six months behind the hair on the rest of my head it's, i had neck braids at a time when i had no business having neck braids you feel me after almost a year growing my hair because i got the temp fade man it's just i didn't know no better nobody told me but because i went through that you don't got to go through that you feel me so we can go to the next picture this was a fire temp fade but it wasn't worth the you know what i'm saying and right here this is just me eating chicken don't don't judge me this is like literally a couple of days later but you see the curls you know they're, they're trying to form they're trying to form you know what i'm saying i wasn't deep conditioned every week that was just something i done one time you know what i'm saying i didn't know anything about consistency i'm just throwing almost anything in my hair i don't even think i realized that deep conditioning was what was working for me it was just one of the many things that i had threw in my hair so i don't know but shout out to bojangles you know what i'm saying by bojangles shout out north carolina anyway but this is when stuff started to take a turn as we're going into december i'm starting to see growth I'm, I'm not talking about little growth where you can barely see it you know what i'm saying you just your hair short but i'm really starting to see growth and i'm starting to see the texture of my hair you know what i'm saying i'm starting to see the dryness of my hair change i'm starting to see more it's starting to look more moisturized you feel me i'm starting to really feel like i got an afro and you see i'm you see how that length is coming out you know what i'm saying i'm really starting to notice growth so i was picture happy this is december 1st 2018 man this is when i'm really like okay i'm starting to see some progress because at this point i've probably been deep conditioning probably like three
three consistent weeks. You know what I'm saying? Three consistent weeks at this point, I was probably deep conditioning, but I wasn't using curl cream yet. I wasn't using curl cream yet. I legit was just <laughs> deep conditioning and saying whatever, you know what I'm saying? But still, my hair doesn't look terrible, but it was growing, so I was happy. You know what I'm saying? And this is December 1st, so that just lets you know. You saw the side. The side fooled you. The side fooled you to think I wasn't, but you gotta remember I got a temp fade, so the temp fade, the closer it is to the temp, the shorter it's gonna be. So that's how I looked on the side, but that was me from the front, you know what I'm saying? So June, let's see, June, July, August, September, October, December. So this is six months, man. Keep in mind, for any of y'all that think y'all hair grows slow, this is six months. The reason why my hair, it took so long to get to this point was because I didn't do what I was supposed to from Jump Street. If you deep conditioning consistently from Jump Street, you are gonna get to this point way faster than me, all right? So if you ever think that your hair grows slow, just understand that I understand you, you feel me? December 14th, a couple of days later, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I deep conditioned again. I didn't really use curl cream. I did know, but you see, I got I got a couple curls in the front. You see the curls in the front, you know what I'm saying? Fire grab picture, you know what I'm saying? You see you see the curl, they, they, they kind of come in there, but this is still before curl cream, before any curl cream, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even using the, the hydration treatment at this point in time. This is before the royal hydration treatment, you know what I'm saying? So this is just all Shea Moisture right here. Maybe a little Miel, but no, no, that's not even Miel yet. It's all Shea Moisture at this point. No curl cream whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? You see this? All right, so now we got December 22nd. Mm-hmm, you see that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Starting to really get there. Hair looking all nice and moisturized and whatnot. And boom, this is actually my first time getting two-strand twists. And this is also a video that you can go look at on my channel, you know what I'm saying? My first time getting two-strand twists. This was terrible. So after six months, it's too, this was horrible, horrible, you know what I'm saying? And trust me, for all you guys out there, trust me, you would much rather have a fro for an extra one to two months than to get a hairstyle too soon, you feel me? <sighs> I know, you know, if you're in the house doing quarantine, then you can probably take that risk and just wear a do-rag because, you know, you ain't really going to work. Ain't nobody get really got to see you. But if you really going places, man, you you don't want to... Well, at this time, the world was still open. January 19th, 2019. It, the world was still open when I got my first two-strand twist. So this wasn't a good look at all because I, I was embarrassed, man. Look at it. Like, I could... <sighs> Man, humility. Thank God for the journey, right? Hey, yo, 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 yo. You still watching? I bet. Congratulations because you just got the next step to getting the giveaway, all right? The next step is you must comment my TikTok name. You gotta comment my TikTok name. My TikTok name is KingBrill252. That's KingBrill252. So comment KingBrill252 and put the little TikTok joint, you know what I'm saying? If you don't got a TikTok, actually just put TikTok dot dot KingBrill252 in the comments and now I'll see what you say. You know what I'm saying? So TikTok, King Brill 252 down in the comments. Let's get back to the video. All right, so here we go. So this was a point where I started to really see the difference coming in my hair. You know what I'm saying? This is no cap. You know what I'm saying? You see my two strand twist, my joint was already growing, but it really felt like I was researching different ingredients to go on my hair. And that's when I realized that, you know, I didn't exactly know what low porosity and high porosity were, but I realized that, you know, this hair texture thing is deeper than just 4C, 4B, all that stuff. It's deeper than that. Cause I started realizing that, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of the things that some people were telling me to do didn't work for my hair, you know what I'm saying? And, and it just so happened that a lot of those people actually turned out to be high porosity versus me being low porosity, you know what I'm saying? So I started realizing that certain ingredients like honey and tea tree oil really worked in my hair in terms of, you know what I'm saying, turning it up and making it feel so much softer, you know what I'm saying? So this was actually when I first started playing with the formula for my own, you know what I'm saying? That's when I, this is when I really started playing with the formula for what came to be the Rich Royals, Royal Hydration Treatment, you know what I'm saying? That honey it's that honey is it you know what I'm saying so I'm not just telling y'all this to be on Ridge Rolls but if y'all got low porosity honey is honey is key if you cannot get the hydration treatment get something that has honey in it honey is what you need man because honey started that I think that part of it really start playing with it you know it really start turning me up you know what I'm saying so I'm not really mass producing it so y'all can buy it but at this point I'm using honey and then this is me you know what I'm saying a little slight spring break pick you can see that the curls coming out I start using that Bella curls a little bit, you know what I'm saying? This is when I start playing with that Bella Curls, you feel me? Spring break, that's when I had that video go viral, me shaking my hair. I'm not gonna use that, that one because I put it on my last one year hair journey and I'm trying to get y'all all new pictures and whatnot. But yeah, man, so this is when my curls were popping and I actually got a really bad edge up with this, man. This is right before, that's why I tell you guys not to get a front taper before you actually get braids because I tried to get a front taper with my curls, man. And this dude, he basically, he cut my front taper and lined it up. So like, you know how my, where your front taper is and then your hair starts? He cut all of my front taper and lined up my hair. So up under them curls is even, is, is at least another inch of forehead, bro. Cause he really messed me up. I'm like, bro, you, you killed me. And it's right before spring break. I'm like, yo, I had to wear a bandana around my head even when we went out to the club and stuff. And it's just like, bro, you really killed my swag, dad. 
that and that was an important spring break bro it's, anyway so moving on moving on moving on this is march 13th at this point i'm fully in deep condition you know what i'm saying the hydration treatment has been made i'm not use. i'm starting to use nothing but this you know what i'm saying I'm, and this is also when i discovered miel's too so you know what i'm saying i'm probably using miel's but because we, we were starting to do rich royals i can only use it for like two three weeks then i would run out and then i would literally have to use miel's the rest of the time so that's why i always recommend miel's if you can't get the hydration treatment you know what i'm saying miel's is fire fire you know what i'm saying fire all right and this <laughs> This is when I had that Bella Curls rocking, you feel me? I had the gel, I understood the Bella Curls, everything was rocking. This is March 21st. Look at that first curl, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of messy curls, and you can see that via the rest of my head that I didn't really understand how to detangle or how important detangling was at this step. And I was also trying to be a cheapskate and not use a lot of conditioner and not use a lot of curl cream. But in the front, I was using a hefty amount because those are the ones you can see. And when I tell you, bruh, look, do you see that front curl, how tight? it is how perfect it is bro like i was not playing with y'all bro i was really out here having them curls and my head was looking different when i got 4b you know what i'm saying i got 4b i don't got 3c i'm not hispanic i'm not you know some other stuff man listen this is i got 4b i'm black my guy so this is tough you ain't seen too many you know black black people with this type of hair you know what i'm saying with this type of curlage in their curls you feel me you know what i'm saying that's how i know that this stuff is working you know what i'm saying this is just another picture march 23rd showing y'all my drop and whatnot um okay so this right here this is an important picture all right this is a very important picture. Check this out. This is the first time I got two strand twists. This is March 2019. You know what I'm saying? March 2019. I first, my first time getting two strand twists. And what I did was on my twist, because I actually had like white residue. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't let my hair dry all the way. It was fresh. So what I would do was to put a spin on it. Wherever I had like a glob of, you know what I'm saying, twisting cream at, I would, I got these little gold crowns. You know what I'm saying? And I would put them over my head. I would put them over my twist. You know what I'm saying? That's, I didn't rock that uh, gold crown look for a while, but it was was definitely some fire man I'm, i might bring it back a little bit later no nah, i actually might i don't know I, I might i might consider bringing it back but man march 2019 i when i bought out those gold, gold crowns i had a nice little gold chain i had gold hoops man it was a fire fire you feel me fire i'm talking about people were looking like dang it's fire so I'm like, it was fire, man. So if you got a two strand twist and you the type that have globs of curl cream that ain't dried up yet, you know what I'm saying? Dry spots, I would suggest you go to you know your local Sally's, go to your like local Tyson's if you got one of those, you know what I'm saying? Some type of beauty supply store and get you some girl gold crowns, man, because them joints was fire. You feel me? Fire. You know what I'm saying? Right here in April, just another little link check. So check, keep in mind, this is like, what is it? April, May, June. So this is like 10 months. 10 months into my hair journey, and I'm just now getting to this part with this picture. This is April 8th. 2019 you feel me you see the this is probably my wash routine is set in the rich royals cream is here but at this point honestly it's man it's like you could tell this is like a saturday what what actually april 8th was what day let me go back because i can tell you what day i actually washed my hair let me see i'm going back to april 8th april 8th was a monday so this can't be can't really be the day after a wash day so i'm not sure if my wash days was sunday back then but you know what i'm saying it was i don't know you know what i'm saying i, I don't really know oh matter of fact i'll tell you what it is i I'll tell you what it is, you know what I'm saying? My wash day was probably coming up because at April 8th, this is the point in time when I'm on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? The how to get curly hair in five minutes, not the last one, but the first one with the red banner and the before and after, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of blurry. That one had dropped at this point in time. Well, no, no, it's about to drop. Yeah, I dropped, I think I recorded that in May, you know what I'm saying? So I think I'm still playing with my hair journey in terms of which one, but I know this is not fresh off a of wash day, but it's more so of a lean check, you feel me? So, and April 17th is my first time getting braids. So this is 11 months my first time getting braids 11 months you're supposed to have way more hang time than this way more hang time than this but because i got a temp fade six months into my journey it messed me up you know what i'm saying so look at this look look at this man april 17th and you can literally see the back of my neck man and like and if you look up you can kind of see how thick my hair is up at the top of the braid and you can see how sm slim it gets and how you know basically it's just temp fade at the bottom because i got it temp faded and i was literally paying for it seven months later bro don't get that back 10 fade if you want cornrows just don't do it please please for me thank you, you know what i'm saying we moving on now all right so may may 5th 2019 you feel me so this is when the two strand twist with the rubber bands it was getting successful you know what i'm saying this one when i started shaking my hair with the two strand twist and it was really like it was heavy you know what i'm saying i'm like okay i really got hair so y'all can't little y'all can't little boy me at this point in time you know what i'm saying because i'm like that like that you feel me like that you know what i'm saying it's just growing it's growing you know what i'm saying you can't really can't do it at all and this 
this. You know what I'm saying? We go a couple months, a couple months later, and now we have some form of successful braids. You know what I'm saying? Months later. So from April to June, I was, you know what I'm saying? I told you my hair was growing fast. I still had to pay for that temp fade, but my hair was growing fast. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of see it at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I had that fresh line up, corn rolls straight to the back. You know what I'm saying? They, they shrunk up a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? At least they weren't on my neck. You know what I'm saying? They didn't hang past my neck, but they was, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But um, boom. Okay. Now we go to August. Now, August 2019, I was a monster. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see this video. I was a monster. My curl journey was locked in. At this point, it's all I've been using the Rich Royals hydration treatment for months, not weeks, for months. All right, no, nothing else for months. And you see what it has done. At this point, I'm probably still using like either like I think it's like Bell. I'm pretty sure I'm still using Bella Curls at this point in time, using gel. But you literally see, and you can tell this is like what fresh out on a wash day. This is like probably three hours out after a wash day. You feel me? But this. This is no, no. This is this, this, oh, this is a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. August fifth, boom. Let's go back and see what it is. August fifth was a August fifth was a Friday. Dang. So that means it's literally five days after. I know at this point my wash days was on Sunday. This is probably just a good refresh day. You know what I'm saying? I just put the water. You know what I'm saying a little hydration treatment and a little curl cream up there, and it was killing. And it was killing. You see the curls, bro. Like you can't deny me at this point in time. You look at me right here. It's like, yo, dang. This got a. He got a different. He got. He got. He, 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 he different. You know what I'm saying? He him different you know what i'm saying <laughs> him had different something up with him you know what i'm saying this is and september 1st 2019 i don't know what the hell happened here bro this is when you get hair my hair is very much at that in between stage right here you know what i'm saying like i don't quite got enough hair to get it braided consistently and i don't want and i'm kind of getting tired of two strand twists you know what i'm saying so i had got this to the side braids and i had took them out and left that one braid I, well i got the pop smokes basically i got some small ass pop smoke braids and they ain't really had no hang time but this one braid right here i just kind of left it in and i still got a whole video I, I think it's a skincare video on my channel and it's just like that i don't know i don't know but at this point i can't pull my hair back i can't put it up like this but i can pull it back a little bit so i was kind of feeling myself i thought this was gonna be like De'Aaron fox no it wasn't but september 2019 oh, shit man boom but as you can see this style is something i favorite because you see what i went back to september 28 i think this is this is definitely homecoming september 28 2019 this is homecoming and you see me i'm fire you know what i'm saying you see that chain you know what i'm saying my watch a little bit too big but you see that chain you know what i'm saying you see that hair it's fire man fresh line up fresh outfit got the whole hood on smash you know what i'm saying this is what that is you know what i'm saying this is fire you see me? look at that hair zoom in on that look at them braids with the tough fade over it it's fire all right so boom at this point in time this is my first time ever getting my hair straightened this is on the tail end of me losing that bet you know what i'm saying it's a, the video is up how i lost the bet and went viral but november 6 2019 that's when i lost the bet well that's a couple days after i lost the bet bet the bet basically i made this bet with these girls man and long story short the bet was that they didn't come to the gym for the whole month of october and they came to the gym for every month of october so i had to straighten my hair and then i went viral i would show the video but i showed it on the other one i think did i show it? i don't think i did but i may or may not put the video right here so you guys can see it if not it's on my instagram man but yeah november 6th it was silky man it was silky don't lie to yourself it was silky you feel me and as we get into 2020 my hair regimen was pretty much the same all of 2020 but this is when i really first start pulling my hair back and i realized that right as i got to a year and a half i can pull my hair back and throughout 2020 i can just pull it back further and further and further and whatnot you feel me so this is when i really start feeling myself fresh line up i could pull my hair back still got the curls you know what i'm saying popping but i did my normal curl routine but i wouldn't just let it drop down and hang i always pulled it back because my hair was so long bro i just got tired of dealing with it bro you know what i'm saying and if that's january that's when i took that picture that you know kind of went viral up here you know what i'm saying this is when i another month i start pulling it back all i did was keep pulling it back keep pulling it back most of these are actual braid outs because i was getting braids 2020 was all braids for me you know what i'm saying 2021 is probably gonna be majority braids for me because i'm just at that point man it just it would take three days to do my curl regimen right now bro my hair is that long you feel me and march 2020 i actually broke down and did my curl video again i think that video i'm pretty sure that video was still up this i think this is right when i done the seven day thing the seven day you know how to do your refresh your curls for seven days out of that but this was on the tail end of this video bro and this was I, this was probably one of the last times that I took the time to do my full curl regimen. You know what I'm saying? I still been deep conditioning, but my full curl regimen was this picture in on March 28th. And this shit was fire, man. You can't tell me that this picture ain't at least top 10 of the most fire pictures, you know what I'm saying, that you can possibly do. You know what I'm saying? The most top 10 most fire pictures that you can
looking that you've ever seen in terms of curl. You know what I'm saying? And just to take it back, because I know I missed a little bit, this was January. So just to show y'all on my face where my hair pulls down to, January 11th, that's what my hair, that's what my hair was. And these are just a few more pictures of legit, just all through the year. Like I told y'all, this is when I got introduced to Meeking. And you see, this is a fire ass braid style I got in June. Like literally all of 2020, my hair has been in braids. That's why you see my shit drop to the floor. You know what I'm saying? You think you think that Meeking video was playing? Like my shit dropped to the floor with Meeking. You know what I'm saying? It dropped to like look at you know what I'm saying. Look at the length. Okay, I don't really know what this picture is, but uh, I got this is when I got the uh, moment of silence for this picture. And that is the last code word. Moment of silence down in the comments. Drop it right now to make yourself eligible for the giveaway. But this right here, moment of silence, bro. Cause this is, I don't know what this, I don't got no explanation for this. I'm just gonna go past it. But this is me, you know what I'm saying? Getting my hair braided and whatnot. This is one of the last fire, fire styles I had before just going back to the straight backs. And this is just to put it in perspective for y'all, man. Just to put it in perspective. This is December 3rd, 2020. Almost two and a half years from my first, well, two and a half years since growing my hair, starting to grow my hair. And this is literally a year and some change after this short video, you know what I'm saying? After that temp fade, you know what I'm saying? That temp fade really messed me up. So my hair, my braids are supposed to be hanging longer than this right now, but because of that temp fade I got, it's it, it, it's killing me. But, you know what I'm saying? If you probably add another three inches, that'd be what it normally is, you feel me? But, and then this is the last one, you know what I'm saying? This is just me doing some curls at the gym. This is the most recent one. This is from like last week, you know what I'm saying? You see right here that puff. I got my hair pulled up just now, and you see how big the puff is, you know what I'm saying? That puff is, that puff is like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, I don't have any more hair girls goals as far as curls. I'm more interested in making sure that y'all get y'all hair journey right. You feel me? But the only thing I want left in my hair journey, you know what I'm saying? The all, the thing that I'm shooting for before I actually cut my hair. And I know I played with y'all for saying I was gonna cut my hair. I'm sorry. It was funny. I couldn't help it. I was eating pizza. Y'all saw it on live. Some y'all didn't. Some y'all did. But dog, like this one style is what I want. But I want when I want to get it, I want it to be able to touch this part of my shoulders you know what i'm saying so i'm just turning and it's just on my shoulders and i want it to be all be me i want it to be all of my hair you feel me so that's that's the only thing left and i think i'll probably get there by this time next year so hey man when i make this three-year head journey dude it's it might be a it might be a rap for your boy, you know what I'm saying? I, when I hit that three year mark, it might really be a rap because that's the only hairstyle that I have left. That's like the boss of the boss of the boss level. I done mastered the curls. I done mastered the hang time with the braids. I done mastered the two strand twist with the hang. I done done the pop smokes. I done done everything except for that one style. That one style that I so desperately want. And I think once I get that style a couple times, I think I'll be able to say to myself, job well done. And I'm probably gonna cut it I don't think I'm ever, I, I might go back to the waves just to see what it be like, but I think I'm gonna probably cut it and grow it back to like that seven, eight month period and just, you know what I'm saying, let the curls rock. Cause that was a, that was a fire, fire, fire period. You feel me? I'm like my shit was busting. You feel my busting. You know what I'm saying? My shit was like that. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So uh, make sure y'all appreciate y'all for watching, man. Oh, man. I got forgot. I got some interesting news for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is probably going to be, I appreciate y'all for watching this far. Those of y'all who are real, who are still watching this point, this is probably going to be the longest video that I've ever dropped on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Excluding the lives. But man, I just want to dedicate this right here. I just wanna dedicate this right here, my 100,000 subscriber plaque to y'all because I literally could not have this without y'all, you know what I'm saying? Without y'all, and I know I helped y'all as far as your hair journey and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I know see, I know y'all support, you know what I'm saying? Y'all buy the stuff, I know y'all love the hair products and stuff, but this right here, this right here, man, this, I dedicate this to y'all. So this plaque right here, this ain't even mine. This is ours, you know what I'm saying? All, at this point, it's 130,000 of y'all, man, all 100, 130,000 of y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Super, super shout out to those of y'all that been here since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? The beginning is that first how to get curly hair video, man. If you've been watching since then, if you watched all of my videos, comment down below. It's not really a part of the sweepstakes, but if you did, man, just let me know, man. Show me love. I appreciate y'all so much, man. To be real with you, I'm probably gonna be dancing in the comments, you know what I'm saying, throughout this video dropping, but man, dude, I, I can't, I, it literally almost brings tears to my eyes though how 
<laughs> and y'all been here with me, you know what I'm saying? Throughout the ups and the downs and the times when I didn't upload consistently, even though I've been trying to upload consistency, the times when I dropped the video on Saturday instead of Thursday, like my banner says, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I legit appreciate y'all, man. Like, y'all, and then I can come up here and be myself. Like, I don't gotta be nobody else, you know what I'm saying? I got my editing skills up, but I ain't gotta be nobody else or pretend play pretend you know what i'm saying like it's thank y'all man and with that being said it's king brill y'all i know i don't know why this seems like i'm saying goodbye like i'm not about to keep making videos but this is my two-year head journey man i just want to say thank y'all for watching supporting man hopefully i learned some let me know if you got any questions comments or concerns about anything down in the comments below but king brill out peace